uh, very proper English folk here. We've got Catherine Legg, we've got Jack Harvey, and as we say, ladies first. I don't know, Catherine, if you know this. You're the only female in the race. That has not been brought up one single time in the interviews I've seen with you. What about Jackie? Oh, shots fired. Uh, uh, Catherine, it's been a, a decade long uh, since we've, he comes out fired. Uh, it's been a decade since we've seen you here at the 500. We know about trying to uh, reprogram your brain to get back to this form of racing. You've had all the drama in the world, but now it's finally put all that behind you and let's go racing. Yeah, absolutely. You know, uh, we were kind of joking about it yesterday. We were saying it feels like we've been to war together. We've been through so much this month. You know, it's been very dramatic um, from the qualifying days to, you know, having the crash on Monday, thinking about Steph and then wheel falling off and all the things. So hopefully we can put all of that behind us and we can go and show them what we've made of. I mean, at the end of the day, it is what it is now and we've got what we've got. So hopefully that is good enough to drive to the front. Some folks say, there's, wow, there's too many practice days for the 500, but n not at all for you, was it? <laughs> no, definitely not. I think we could do with another week, if we're honest. You know, we've, we've collectively been missing some speed, um, which we would very much like to find. So another week would be great for us. Jack, I mean, what about a week ago? We're th sitting here saying, is he in? Is he out? And you go out there and have one of the classic runs. The gun goes off. It's time to get it done, and you deliver. How did you put that behind you and, and you know, celebrate the excitement, but now focus on race day? <laughs> oh, this, it, uh, <laughs> it's a great question. I think the thing about last weekend, it was just a huge amount of emotions, period. A lot of good emotions, a lot of bad emotions, uh, you know, very conflicting the whole time. You know, we'll obviously say we wish that Steph was in the race, but hate what happened there. Everybody does. Wish him a speedy recovery. But I probably wasn't at peace with everything that happened until Tuesday at 10 a.m. when we heard that Graham was going to get to drive the 24. Um, Honestly, everything since then has just felt like a bonus and a lot of gratitude, really. I'm just grateful to be a part of the 107th run-in with, uh, with Ray Hall, Letterman, Lanigan. Obviously, Catherine's done an amazing job this month. Uh, you know, so has Christian, and like she mentioned, we have been missing some speed. The only thing I would just remind people, it's not for a lack of effort. You know, we have spent hours engineering, pouring through data, trying to figure it out. So it's not like we're just sat in there saying, oh, I guess we're just not very fast. Mm. <laughs> you know, uh, you know, but us girls, as Catherine said, have got to stick together. Uh, I thought she was going to say us Brits, but, you know, us, us ladies have got to try and stick together. But uh, we're here, you know, we made it, we're in. And at this point... Anything can happen in this race, that's the important thing. Staying on the lead lap, staying clean throughout pit lane and all them things, you never know. It's race day now. Everyone, when you're here in the States, everyone loves your accent. Can, can you do an American accent? Can you do a, a Chris Hagen accent? What do you got? Let's have one. Sure, all y'all. Had to throw a y'all in there? What do you got? Um, I'm like, hey, you want a corn dog? <laughs> <laughs> get a corn dog why so, do we both go southern i don't know like, i don't know either because it's, southern people are the best people really let's be Ho hoosiers have a pretty neutral accent minus like a few words i think but i'm not confident enough to do them so i need to be i need to be prepped for that I mean, like, by prepped i think I mean, he means strong alcohol yeah <laughs> well you the, the english accent so so prim and proper than you do the american and we sound like a bunch of hillbillies so, so, so do an english yeah. i can do a quite proper english accent how does this sound a bit you, a bit of dick van dyke perhaps you're, you've got a posh english accent yeah, a very posh yeah. thank you thank you very much you have, you have Catherine's accent. uh we're ready for a proper racing here at the indy 500 alongside jack harvey and Catherine Legg. i'm christopher hagen now let's throw it back to you